Intriguing answers started appearing in the early 90s when researchers pinpointed receptors in the brain and the body that bind with the cannabinoids. Receptors can be described as locks on the surface of a cell, and when the correct key binds with the correct lock or receptor, it opens the door and delivers messages. Sometimes the message is that the body is feeling pain. Other times the message may be that there's an invader and the immune system must attack. Scientists located two receptors, uh, cannabinoid receptors, one called the CB1 receptor, mainly in the brain, and the other is the CB2 receptor, which is mainly in cells of the immune system. The CB1 receptors are extremely abundant in the brain, but they're also found all over the body in the major organs, the heart, the liver, kidneys, and pancreas. Because the CB2 receptor can act like a target for the cannabinoids. Once they bind with the receptor, they can tell the cancer cell to die. So basically telling the cells basically to commit suicide, and that's what they do. And uh, we demonstrated that that would be the mechanism by which the cannabinoids can kill the cancer and therefore it can be used effectively as an anti-cancer agent. Dr. Niagar Kadi and his researchers were able to eradicate almost 100 percent of the cancer in test tubes but they were skeptical they would see similar results when they moved on to tumors in mice. To our surprise we found that almost uh, 25 to 30 percent of the mice completely rejected the tumor. They were completely cured and uh, in addition we found that the remaining mice uh, also there was um, a significant reduction in the volume or the size of the tumors as well. The lab results have been so promising that Dr. Niagara Kadi is beginning clinical trials with leukemia patients. 